Hello folks and welcome to this week's exciting episode of Carolina Outdoor Magazine TV. This week we're going to be fishing with longtime friend Captain Stanley Carell of Katara Lakes Guide Service. Now when Stan puts his mind to it, he can flat out put you on the fish. Today we're going to be going out and try to catch him some white perch on a little lake in North Carolina. So stick around, we'll be right back after these messages. This week's Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV is brought to you in part by Camelback Hydration Systems. Do you have a camel on your back? By Bole Sportswear and Sunglasses. By Buckbuster Sense. Sense for the Serious Hunter. By Hummingbird Depth Finders. Only Hummingbird gives you the detail. And also by CVA. It's just a better gun. This portion of Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV is brought to you in part by Catch 'em Up Baits, field staff tested, pro staff proven, by Buckbuster Sense, Sense for the Serious Hunter, Quail Hollow Bird Farm, and also by Tulliver's Guide Service, specializing in trout fishing in Boone, North Carolina. Fish right there, that's all he bit on right there. <laughs> I'm serious. All right. Well, Stan put us on the white perch. Yeah, but I can't catch him. When you're good, you're good, see? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know what you're doing. Here we go. First white perch of the day. Oh, well, got another one on here. Yeah, smallmouth. Sure is, small. That's a small, small mouth. <laughs> well, we know what's been hitting that bait. Whoop, there he goes. Quick release. Well, we don't have to worry about taking him off and touching him. Back he goes. All right. Well, sun's going down. It's, uh, we're out here. It was really, really hot. Weren't we catching a few fish here, a few there. I caught a crappy camera lady there. She caught a, caught a catfish, a nice channel cat. But um, it's down now to where it's uh, looking about almost 8 o'clock and the fish are starting to get a little active. I guess before it gets really dark, they're going to turn on a little bit. Oh, yeah. Come on in here. Come on. That's it, Stan. You just keep putting me on the fish. <laughs> Look at the bait. Oh, my gosh. Look at the bait. You just keep putting me on the fish, Stan, and I'm going to keep catching them, okay? Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> no, I got one. Get him. one. You got one? Stan got one? All right. 
They were in that big wad of bait we just went over, Stan. Mm -hmm. We just pulled over a big school of bait. We've been looking for bait out here for about two hours. And we just pulled over a big school of bait. And I guess that's where we had to be. Fish the bait. It's like old times. That's right. You gotta keep him? Sure. I'll put him in. You gotta get I got him. You got him? Yeah. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll open the fish holding box for you. Good old Lake James white perch. Some really fine eating right there. Alright. Way to go. Thanks for letting me catch one, Jim. You know? Yeah, now you're now you're only what, five behind? With the head, right? <laughs> But you got one. Hey, every time I go out with Stan, he always has to show off. Well, I guess it's my turn this time. So. But he'll have his day, there's no doubt about that. I think he can still put a whooping on me with a small one. I hate to admit it. All right. This portion of Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV is brought to you in part by Catch 'em Up Baits, field staff tested, pro staff proven, by Buckbuster Sense, Sense for the Serious Hunter, Quail Hollow Bird Farm, and also by Tulliver's Guide Service, specializing in trout fishing in Boone, North Carolina. Stan goes over that school of fish down there. We get another white perch. I don't know, Stan. He's awful small. Would you fillet him? Probably. Would you? Probably, sir. You get a piece of meat about the size of your finger. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we don't need to keep him. He's a little bit, a little bit smaller than what we'd like to keep. We're just using a basic simple rig here, we're using a little gold eagle claw hook right there is all we got. And what I've done, because I lost my other rig that I had on there, you see that right there? That's frayed line. That's what you got to watch out for. When you get a piece of line like that right there, you want to make sure you break that off and retie it. But then I just come down with a few sinkers on there and these fish are, we're in 19 feet and the fish are probably, they're probably about 18 feet we're just keeping the bait suspended in the fish and every time we go over the school one of us will get a bite and one of us ends up boating a fish because most of most of the time it's been me boat that's been catching a fish but it looks like stan's got one here got him yeah all right so like i say every time we go over that there we go a little bit bigger one every time we go over that school we end up catching one and them are some of the goodest eating fish right there, folks. They got a, a sweet meat to them. And uh, I really enjoy them, don't you? Yeah, they're too. Yeah, they're just one of the best tasting fish we have. Yeah, it's pretty good when you catch a white bass big enough where you think it's a smallmouth. <laughs> that's, a big, that's a big white bass. It's, it's starting to come up. It looked like it? he's going to come up and jump. <laughs> it did. If you're not staying on the fish, we're not catching them. I mean, it seems like every time we run over a school of fish there, that's when we get a bite. One of us will catch a fish. And uh, <clears throat> we're, we're trying to stay on the fish to catch them today. It's the only way we're catching them, really. I don't know where they're coming from. Camera lady, let me have your fishing rod. Camera man, camera lady is doubling as a fisherman and a camera person today. That must have been the one I had on. I just had a bite. Jim, you finally let me catch one. Well, you've been so good to come out here and run the boat <laughs> and keep us on the school of fish. Somebody's got to let you catch one now and then. <laughs> you won't come out and drive the boat for me anymore. <laughs> uh, he's barely big enough. Yeah, he's a couple of small fillets off him. Now we're not catching giant fish here, folks. We don't expect we're going to catch real big white perch. They're in here, but we're not on that kind of a school. That's about an average size 
uh, white perch in it, Stan. I think so, yeah. Yeah, you know, for this lake. I've seen pictures, and I know guys have caught bigger ones, but it's just no, we're just not catching them right now today. But uh, they're a lot of fun to come up and catch. Usually you can catch sometimes if you, if you, ooh, it'll hit. If you have a double rig, a double hook, um, you can catch two at a time like them first two I caught. So they can be a lot of fun to catch, and they're vicious. They like piranhas, so they're a good fish. If you can find them, bring your kids up here and put your fish on the, uh, put your kids on these fish because, you know, they bite so vigorously all the time. Use winter, you know, use minnows, worms. Stan don't like to use worms, but I asked him when he got on the boat, I said, where's the worms? <laughs> Anyways, we're catching them on minnows, so, you know, anything like that, jigs, so anything like that works good. I gotta check my bait, I had a bite while I was busy running my mouth. And I still got my bait, so. We'll try to get back down there so we can get another one. All right. Ah, oh, the yellow perch. Oh, well. Small yellow perch. That's the first yellow perch we've caught <laughs> all day. And there's some good sized yellow perch in this lake. They're just a little bit harder to catch. Most of, most of the bigger yellow perch, I usually catch them in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And he was 24 feet. We're fishing anywhere from 24 feet to about 32 feet. And there's a couple of schools of bait working this area. There's a couple of buoys behind us. And there's a couple of schools of uh, bait work in the area right here and we're just trying to Stan's just trying to follow them around and keep the boat on top and the best he can every time we go over them we end up catching a fish Man, you're pulling that one pretty good oh yeah oh yeah big enough we got some sharp gill plates man I'll tell you they stick you. They're like a blue fish. They stick you. You know you're stuck. They don't need it hard, too. Finally, that back pole finally got a fish. Come on, man. All right. Why'd you come up? No? Yeah? No? Maybe? I'll make a big white perch. Oh, we'll decide that then. Nice white perch. Bring them over here. Sure. And move over this way. <clears throat> That's a good one. <laughs> Heck yeah. That's what we've been waiting for right there. I got your pole. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Man. Look at the size of that one. Now if we could catch a boatload of them. Oh, you know? <laughs> you got him? Yeah. Well, folks, that's what. <laughs> well, folks, that's what it's all about, right there. We waited a long time to get that, but uh, there he is, Stan. It's been a while since I fished with this fella here, folks, and um, I was really excited to bring him, have him jump on the boat with us today. Because in the past, whenever I go out with Stan, we always have a great time. We kid around. And share the uh, camaraderie with uh, with each other, and just have a real good time. We even catch a few fish. Dan, it's been great having you back on the boat again. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm looking forward to doing it again. And uh, we got a few more minutes before the sun goes down. We might want to just catch a few more of these fish. You that, might be you might I, be on to something. And also, the great thing you got fish to clean tonight. Yeah, and I, I know. Well, so I'm gonna let the camera lady clean them. <laughs> All right.